Thank you, Sanjay. Uh, I think as with every budget, they are always good and bad. And uh, I think it will take still some more time for us to absorb, you know, what is positive, what is not so positive. But I think at first glance, there seems to be a strong focus which was expected around rural and agri sector. I think the investment is the MSP reimbursement scheme, all of those are very strong. Even the rural housing scheme is a very strong one. So government uh, obviously has put uh, rural and agri sector as a priority, which is very positive because it will fuel consumption and the GDP growth rate also. Uh, the other positive is that they expect almost uh, uh, 7 million jobs to be created in this year, which I think is a very strong positive. This 7 million jobs for India is, is, a, is a fairly big outcome. The, the third constituency that they have focused on a lot is uh, the MSMEs. So the entire 3 lakh crore scheme for MSME loans under Mudra, the income tax slab increase from uh, the companies up to 50 crore becoming 250 crore for being eligible at 25% tax rate is going to, is going to be a you know, big, uh, large, you know, uh, incentive to the MSMEs, who will then in turn create jobs. And so I think credit to MSMEs, tax relief for MSMEs, it seems to be under very strong focus. MSMEs and self-employed entrepreneurs, especially women. So even the, the women's self-help group, a credit scheme is a very big, strong positive on that. Uh, the fourth constituency is the Aam Aadmi, especially the salaried people and the senior citizens have got a strong relief both through standard deduction and the exemption of interest earned on bank deposits for senior citizens. It will also highlight it's not a small increase, it's a very, very, very significant increase. As per expectation, I think this year they didn't have room to give much relief to the corporate sector, which anyway, I think earnings, uh, earnings growth momentum has started to pick up. So though all of us were hoping for a corporate tax rate cut across the board for all corporates, I think uh, at best we can hope that this has been postponed by another year and uh, hopefully we'll be back on the table uh, when there is a little bit more room. The two other things I think are underestimates. The 80,000 crore disinvestment target looks very low given the, you know, uh, the asset prices where they are and way in the last year, FY18 also, uh, the government exceeded that. We would expect that in the coming year also, uh, the government may end up ex ex exceeding the uh, disinvestment target. And the other one is the slippage on the fiscal side by 30 basis points for both 18 and for expected FY19. So we are expecting 3.2 uh, as the fiscal for 18, which is now going to be 3.5. And people were expecting 3% for FY19, which will be now 3.3. So about 30 basis point, which is approximately about 50,000 crores of excess slippage on fiscal deficit, which was actually expected by the bond market. So the bond market has already priced that in. So again, no root shock in that, but uh, for investors, especially bond investors who are hoping for no slippage, they will be slightly uh, concerned. But I don't think it's a large amount. So you get absorbed very, you know, very easily. Uh, the other strong, I had a huge scheme, and you we know, have to understand the details of that, which we were talking about, is the health insurance scheme. Health insurance scheme, you know, five lakh rupees cover to more than uh, ten crore families is a very ten crore families will cover almost a third of the families in India. So five lakh rupees per family health cover. Is a very strong one. The, the total coverage will end up becoming close to 50 lakh crores. So obviously we have to see how much the government is going to spend on this as insurance premium is going to be a, but it's going to be a fairly significant allocation.